Well, the weather outside sure is frightful today. We got something to warm you up. I'm here with my main man, Nate, from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Of course, back with some delicious cocktails that's going to keep those holiday parties going all weekend long. What's up, <laughs> Nate? Hey, uh, well, you know, I'm glad I made it here safely. Yeah, Rosie <laughs> you know? said a little bad, but started clearing yeah, up, but still slick out there. Yeah. Um, let's talk about these cocktails, because you're teasing us like you always do. <laughs> what do we got for us? So the first one I have is the uh, gingerbread uh, um, eggnog. Um, so basically, this is uh, a nice festive twist on the, on the you know, familiar eggnog cocktail. Um, I mean, you know, we do sell... Um, we do sell eggnog that already has the alcohol in it, mm -hmm. but you can get this stuff from the grocery store. You make so, it at home, so a little flare. Yeah, right? get yeah, the absolutely. Guests a little excited. So uh, I also am using a homemade version of a gingerbread syrup. You can probably find some of these in like the the coffee aisle or the cocktail making aisle, but uh -huh. uh, this one I, I had a recipe uh, that uh, I believe should be. Uh, posted along with this, okay. um, but this is basically a simple syrup that has a lot of you know the kind of uh, richer flavors of uh, ginger and cinnamon um, and you know brown sugar and molasses. And that's what you're looking for this time of year, right? Yeah. There, there's real flavorful. There's deep flavors, and you mm -hmm. got it covered. Of course, the eggnog. Uh, it's not uncommon to add a little rum. To yeah. egg and this yeah. is just kind of taking it up a notch. Yeah, I mean, you could do bourbon too. There's mm -hmm. a lot of other things you can add to it. But we're going to do one ounce of the syrup, four ounces of the eggnog, and we got two ounces of Captain Morgan spiced rum. So we'll add that in here. There we go. Let me give this a nice shake. Yeah, and shake I've. Already prepared the glasses by rimming them with a mixture of crushed ginger snap cookie oh, wow. and uh, cinnamon. Love it. Ooh. See, that's, that's the added touch that you need, right? You yeah. Need that when you rim the glass. Just gives you a little extra flavor with each sip. It's really nice. Now, I know that's going to look delicious. You made me one without the alcohol. Yes, I'm yes, I did one without the alcohol. In a second. But we also want to do. We got to hit it with the whipped cream. Yeah, I got to oh, do that whipped cream mate, up on there. You want some on yours? Or? Uh, a little bit on the side. Just, just a little bit. bit. I got to drink it out. Yeah, there. you got to be careful. <laughs> uh, Danielle was very excited about this one. She saw the glass. She knew it was some type of mule. And uh, this is uh, something you call the Yuletide mule. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what we're doing here is we are swapping in unsweetened cranberry juice. This is a special, um, it's a little more expensive than the normal cranberry juice, but it's a little bit more intense. So you're, you're replacing what normally would go in here, which is lime juice with uh, this unsweetened cranberry juice. So that, that is actually has like a bitter taste to yes. it as well. That's why right. it's unsweetened. Yeah. And so, then last but not least, the pom-pom punch. Yes. Yeah. So this is basically some orange juice and some pomegranate juice. Three ounces of pomegranate mm -hmm. juice, one ounce of orange juice. And then you top it off with the uh, Prosecco. We're, we're using the Lamarca, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> the Lamarca Rosé Prosecco. Mm -hmm. New thing in the last couple of years, they started bringing out these uh, Rosé Proseccos, but gets it nice and bubbly. You can uh, garnish it with a little bit of pomegranate okay. seeds. Again, that's what you do, you take it up and And then uh, you can do a little rosemary sprig. Mm -hmm. These are pretty big Aroma. rosemary sprigs. <laughs> they are. Yeah, but I like it, right? It looks yeah. like you got a whole Christmas tree yeah. in there. Um, this is delicious, gingerbread <laughs> eggnog. Of course, this is the non-alcoholic version. This is a right. virgin version of yes. this. You can make it without it. Right. If you maybe you're making it fancy for the kids, maybe somebody doesn't drink. Well, it's important. You know, you want to drink responsibly this of time of year. Absolutely. <laughs> make sure everyone gets home safe. Man, this is good. Which one are you serving this weekend? Uh, You've got to pick one. I like that. I like yeah, I like I the like bubbly. Uh, and I love pomegranate juice. I think it's a great flavor combo. And visually, it's <laughs> Very appealing. Yeah, yeah. All right, Danielle, which one are you choosing? You, you know, I'm going to do the mule for sure, Sean. I figured. How I about know, you? I know, I know you like the mule. Heck, you know what? I got this one in my hand, but I think I do want to. The pom pom punch, I, I, it's just visually very appealing. I love it. it you got the sprig of rosemary in there. Yeah. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> 